Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss about cryopreservation. Okay. So normally, in this video, I am going to explain to you about the applications, the procedure in the diagrammatic form, the protocol of this cryopreservation technique. So watch this video till the end. And also, I am going to provide you notes. So the link, a WhatsApp link will be given in the description box. So you can join us through the WhatsApp group and you can ping me a message there so that I can provide you the notes. So coming to the cryopreservation technique. Actually, what is meant by cryopreservation? The phenomena in which the plant cells and tissue cultures are preserved at the low temperature. Low temperature is nothing but which consists of a cool environment. Totally cool environment. That too, the temperature should be applied at minus, you know, minus conditions only. And that low temperature state is called as a frozen state. Is called as a cryopreservation. Here, plant cells and tissue cultures are nothing but the explant which you wanted to get cultured and the tissue cultures and all of these things uh, which belong to the plant biotechnology which are going to apply to form a new plant. All of this can be stored at the low temperature. Okay. Uh, and the phenomenon is called as cryopreservation. As I am making the series of plant biotechnology, I have just mentioned here plant cells as well as the tissue cultures. Not only these plant cells and the tissue cultures, you can also store many other, uh, you know, many other bio biological uh, material like, for example, if you take sperms, gametes, embryos, tissues, bone marrows, organs like that, there are many type of, uh, you know, ma many type of uses of this cryopreservation for preserving of many type of organs or as many type of biological materials. So that is the main thing of this cryopreservation technique. I actually, what is the main aim of this cryopreservation? So this will make the plant cells to get inactive in form. Inactive form is nothing but uh, where the, the metabolism doesn't occur. Hence, I have mentioned here zero metabolism state where the metabolism doesn't occur and the cell division also doesn't occur only when these plant cells are present in the low temperature. Okay, so the cell division doesn't occur. Cell division is nothing but the cytokinesis process, right? So that cytokinesis doesn't occur in these plant cells as well as the metabolism also doesn't occur in these plant cells. Only when they are present in the low temperature. That's nothing but when we are wanted to uh, make these plant cells to get chiropreserved. So now, here liquid nitrogen plays a major and vital role in this cryopreservation technique. Here liquid nitrogen is mainly used in this technique actually. And minus 196 degrees Celsius is applied for this liquid nitrogen. So that, uh, you know, the plant cells or else whatever you wanted to take the biological materials can be easily and properly stored. Liquid nitrogen plays a major and vital role. And how this liquid nitrogen plays a major role, let us see in the procedure. Okay, so this technique is successfully applied for germplasm conservation of a wide range plants. For example, if you take rice, wheat, sugarcane, strawberry, peanut, coconut. Okay, so now let us see the procedure. I mean the diagrammatic form of this procedure of cryopreservation technique so that you can easily understand about these definitions. So what is the procedure involved in this cryopreservation technique? Let us see now. So what is the first step which you are going to do in this cryopreservation technique? Selection of a biological material which you wanted to preserve. So here we are discussing about the plant biotechnology. So I have mentioned here shoot tips. And if you are going to perform the animal biotechnology, then you can take the sperms, bone marrow and each and everything which you wanted to get preserved. Like organs, any type of organs also. So here I have took the shoot tips and once you select the once you select this biological material then what you are going to do you are going to remove the bacteria which is present on it. So to remove the bacteria you have to perform surface sterilization process. So what is meant by the surface sterilization it is a process where we are going to wash these shoot tips with certain chemicals in such a way that the bacteria which is present on that surface will get removed is known as surface sterilization and once the shoot tips will be free from bacteria then immediately firstly you have to take a beaker and then in that beaker you are going to add uh, you know culture medium and in that culture medium you are going to add the shoot tips so that uh, you know the shoot tips will be properly grown and properly maintained in this culture medium then in the next step what you are going to do you are going to take a test tube right and in the test tube you have to add all of this material which is present in this beaker along with this what with this what we say the shoot tips as well as this culture medium you have to add this shoot tips as well as the culture medium into this test tube and now what you are going to do now you are going to add cryoprotectants so uh, cryoprotectants for example if you take glycerol ethylene sucrose glucose dimethyl sulfoxide all of these are nothing but the cryoprotectants so these cryoprotectants you have to add into this test tube along with this uh, what we say this culture medium and the shoot tips which are present in it right and now you have to maintain this test tube up to zero degrees celsius to minus 100 degrees celsius don't forget to mention here minus okay minus 100 degrees celsius you have to maintain in, in this temperature you have to maintain this test tube in the, with this temperature and in the next step what you are going to do you are going to extract the shoot tips from the test tube and now we have to transfer the shoot tips into an ampule 
and from here the actual process begins so here refrigerator plays a major and vital role because the technique which we are performing here is of cryopreservation because the low temperature should be applied so the refrigerator plays a major role where we all of us know that the refrigerator uh, you know uh, the refrigerator will maintain the low temperature only so here uh, in this refrigerator you have to take a beaker you have to place a beaker and in that beaker make sure you are going to add the liquid nitrogen this purple color one which i have drawn is known as liquid nitrogen so here the beaker should be placed in this refrigerator and in that beaker liquid nitrogen will be present and now you have to transfer this ampule into this liquid nitrogen which which is present in the beaker so make sure this ampule consists of this shoe tips right so the shoe tips which are present in the ampule will get transferred will get transferred into the liquid nitrogen which is present in the beaker right so now here the temperature which should be applied by this refrigerator is at minus 150 degrees celsius here the temperature operator will be present and here the digital screenings will be present so you have to maintain the temperature with minus 150 degrees celsius and you people will get a doubt that if we apply minus 150 degrees celsius will there be formation of ice my answer is say no because here the liquid nitrogen doesn't has a capacity to form ice even if you apply very low temperature like minus 160 degrees celsius or even if you apply minus 200 degrees celsius this liquid nitrogen doesn't form an ice because it doesn't has a capacity to form ice because the chemical reaction of to form the ice doesn't occur in this liquid nitrogen okay so now what you are going to do now you are going to remove this ampule which is present in this liquid nitrogen and now you are going to make the process of the thawing so what is meant by thawing thawing is nothing but firstly you are going to take a beaker and in that beaker you are going to add warm water and in that warm water you are going to thaw this uh, what we say this ampule which consists of the shoe tips and now after this thawing what you are going to do you are going to take a semi beaker and in that beaker you are going to take semi solid medium and in that solid semi solid medium this uh, all of these shoe tips which are present in that ampule you should place them on this semi solid medium right and now here here you can use these shoe tips for the process of the tissue culture method i mean what we say this shoe tips will be placed in the test tube with the culture medium so that it will get developed into the callus and from the callus it will form a new plant so this process is called as a tissue culture plant tissue culture technique so this process is mainly used for the plant tissue culture technique or else it undergoes again the cryopreservation technique i mean or else it also again stored again the total life cycle will get repeated you know all of this total cycle will get repeated so either it may undergoes the process of the cryopreservation or else it can also be used for the plant tissue culture technique so this will be the procedure of the cryopreservation technique and now let us see about the applications of this cryopreservation so now let us discuss about the applications of this cryopreservation technique it is an ideal method for long term conservation of material disease free plants can be conserved and propagated recalcitrant seeds can be maintained for the long term recalcitrant seeds are nothing but these are a special type of seeds where they can expose its life only when they only when they are present in the particular type of environment that to cool environment only when these seeds are present in the cool environment then only it exhibits its life but when they are present in the high environment i mean with high temperature regions like that the seeds cannot be survived i mean the germination of the seeds doesn't occur pollens can be maintained to increase longevity rare germplasm as well as the other genetic manipulations can be stored this technique is also used for the preservation of sperm gametes embryos tissues bone marrow organs which is which comes under the classification of the animal biotechnology so this is about the cryopreservation technique and if you like this video just do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box and the notes of this video will be given in the whatsapp group so the invite link of the whatsapp group will be given in the description box you can join us through the whatsapp group and you can pin me a message there so that i can provide you the notes thank you